So I find it interesting. Everybody talks about when you talk to these people about Agile and Scrum. And um, what's there, what's in the book, doesn't say it. Really. You know, and I was looking at some old textbooks or um, know, some training guides, and everybody talks about release planning. But release planning isn't one of the ceremonies in Scrum, which I find interesting. Everybody wants to say, it's not written in Scrum, it doesn't exist. It's not written in the document, it doesn't exist. And I'm like, well, release, play, pl release planning is not a ceremony. It's not an event in Scrum. So I always find it funny that we, we teach everybody release planning, but it ain't in there, right? So there's a lot of stuff that's in these books, and everybody wants to say it's not explicitly said one way, whether it be any program. And if you don't do it exactly right that way, it doesn't work or it doesn't may not, it's not quote pure agile, it's not pure scrum. But I just find it interesting how release planning is not in there. But I mean, it's backlog refinement and you can use release planning as a tool or a mechanism or event to help you refine your backlog, but it's not, it's not release planning. And uh, what, you know, everybody says like um, safe and what's that and the PI planning. Well, PI planning is really release planning, planning on steroids with a couple more stuff and talks about more outside the team and putting lots of teams together and you do it all together. So I just find it interesting how people can say one system doesn't work and this is bad and the other. So you're kind of doing it. I mean, I'm amazed how many... Um, People would say safe, not, you know, would it safe, say so different. I'm like, well, it's kind of like release planning where we lay out what we want to do each sprint. What can we do each sprint? What's our capacity? What's our analysis? Look for any dependencies, prioritize work based on technical and business type issues. Um, but then the one nice thing is about NPI planning. How does one team react with another and any dependencies and and how do you interact with that and all all one day, which is good, which is great. But it's basically the same stuff. So I, I just thought it was, I just want to make that point that when everybody says things, you know, take it with a grain of salt that it needs to be that way or it's really that much different or it's so much more complicated. And like I was saying the other day about PMI uh, or PMP stuff and Six Sigma and um, Agile and Scrum stuff, a lot of the things are the, are in there just called different different um, different tools or different ideas, but they're they're very similar in, in thought. So anyway, I just want to mention that about release planning. It's a real great tool for, and I'll do one day how to use that to um, and um, how do you lay how do you lay your work out and use that release planning tool to help you with your backlog. So I'll do an episode on that for people doing planning and how to think about it. I want to do it early in the morning when there's no one here and preferably not during a weekday. Anyway, so that's that. The how you doing? Going live, five, four, we're live. We're live here at 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And we're kind of late today because it's like 6.30 in the morning when I was doing some stuff this morning. And uh, I always get up to have too much things to do. 